Okay, let's just assume he has no Umber arrows, right? If I'm leading off the charge for TS Tuesday, first me, then Caution, then Mirage, and then Bonk? No, I said don't have this. Some people are so rude. Uh, am I going to kill this thing? Sure. No relics for you. All right, so... Stupid confused broccoli. Stupid confused hog. You can go face. The Bow of Champions is decent. Oh, yeah, cut through me as much as you want. My hand sucks. I wonder what he takes. The Bronx Serpent, okay. <laughs> My hand was so bad, he had to get out of here. Gotta be close to these Deterras. 14 cards left. The bottom card. There's a lot of bottom cards, so it's less than 14. Alright, let's find those Deterras. There it is. Set it up. That's enough for now. Pick this up for no reason. He can't get to it. He can get to one off it or two off it. But I'm gonna want this. Very confident. See? Alright, I don't need three of these in hand. I really just need one. So if I just keep one, I'm s fine. If I play this, I don't have a target for, peer for Portal Wrangler, but I'll get 7-7 seven, seven soon. So let's just go max tempo. Right. Do I ever care about this thing? Okay, so it's Portal Wrangler deck versus Deterra deck. Who will win? Or is he Deterra deck too? Oh my god. My turn. Start deterring. This is funny, it's like a mirror match. And also we're gonna win the game while we set up for the Deterry. Don't concede, let me do Deterry stuff. No! Well, we did it. Fade and then the Rhino coming down. Next turn I can follow up with Selena and Forage or, you know. We'll see how, uh... How the board's looking there. Hey, what the H? We had a, a raid with a party of 16, is that? Mudman, coming in hot. Thanks so much, man. Thanks for starting off TS Tuesday with a bang. Appreciate you. How's everybody doing? Great to see you. Happy TS Tuesday. <laughs> pew, pew. Amen, brother. Today, <laughs> you face judgment. Yeah. The ultimate. Yo, Mirage, your deck is unstoppable. Can't stop, won't stop. Wow. Undefeated. Perfect record. Are we turning this into a gauntlet speedrun right now? Why couldn't my favorite god just be light? I'd be so much better off if I just loved light decks. But here I am, really liking nature and death and war like a fool. <laughs> nature had a long time in the limelight, I, I can't be mad about that, but um, I also like magic. Um, not the biggest fan of where it's at right now, but you know, can't complain too much.
Take that tray there. You can drop both. I'm actually gonna drop both. I guess we chip this here. Ow. For an exceptional guy like me, I sure would appreciate it. Uh, do we trade this too to prevent the easy value trade next turn? I think so. I think so. Well, right, cool. Huh? How curious. Oh, two of 132. Well, now you know. It makes all the difference in the world. <laughs> I saw somebody pick up a diamond pyramid warden for one and a half ETH uh, a couple weeks back. And when I saw it, I was really jealous. And then I remembered, I don't have one and a half ETH to spend on a pyramid warden, you know? <laughs> Nuts. Yo, FC Mario. Thank you for the follow, my dude. Very much appreciated. Enjoy some Nick Cage on the house. Nick Cage, as featured in Con Air. It is an honor and a privilege, my, my good sir. Oh, man. I'm feeling special today, boys. Might have been better off taking the trade there, but then I wouldn't have enough favor to pro- Oh, Hyden is my chosen one. Okay, okay. Oh, all right. Well, in that case, auto drop. <laughs> I value my personal speech. Oh man, I, I'm gonna. I, I don't even believe it though. I gotta make sure this is real. This is happening. This is real, and this is real life. I have great news, everybody. It went through. It went through. Oh man. Hi, how are you, Javi? We're getting low on the life. Every victory Gotta bring it back. I mean, whatever it is, it's got frontline and ward now, so. Should I take this? That's enough for now. Nah, I don't think so. Wait it out. I think we can pull off the uh, three turn lethal here, boys. Let's... I think we push face here. <laughs> right? But I think we push face with just the uh just the axe woman. You promise peace, yet practice. I think we've done it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, such a shady lady. Is it it was International Women's Day uh yesterday or today? Either way, um, either happy International Women's Day or happy belated to uh, Vanguard Axe Woman. She's my rock. She's always there for me to take back the tempo when I need it most. Time to act. Wow, GG's. Chosen one. That's all you need, nothing more. Think you might be onto something, Mirage. What else is new? <laughs> Alright, Mirage, I need a war deck, a death deck. <laughs> Great to see you. Your turn for some Nick Cage up top there. Uh so this is gonna be a seven six seven martyr. <laughs> cool. Alright. <laughs> okay. Oh, nice. I think I want.
want this. Let's go for next turn. Yeah, give me that buff, baby. I'm trying to get that buff. And we are pushing 12, so we are threatening two turn lethal here. <laughs> Chosen fun, baby. Push. Just need a. Turns out Mirage was onto something. And, uh, speaking of Mirage, I uh, want to thank you guys so much for joining us for TS Tuesday. Uh, I was honored to follow up the Mud Man there. Um, after uh, I finish it up here, uh, literally right here, this is going to be a GG's to uh, Nameless fella. Uh, Super strong with this Chosen One deck, undefeated. But uh, the creator of this Chosen One deck, Mirage88, is going to be, uh, uh, you know, following me up right here uh, via raid. So don't touch, don't touch that dial. You guys don't have to lift a finger. I'll be sending you over there seamlessly. I'll take this chance to plug myself. Uh, weekend results just came up. Managed to managed to take down this weekend. With uh, with magic control, so it's so finishing first. Gonna get some some nice trials packs coming my way. So now we can actually drop our blind martyrs and have it buff a bunch of stuff. So this is gonna be fun. So let's do that. Let's go blind martyr, blind martyr, and militant extortionist. Um, I actually don't want to run this in because I wanted to get the blind martyr buffs. All right. Um, so we're gonna have some fun and do it this way. This guy's gonna die anyway because of the burn. Um, actually he might not because he's gonna get some extra health. But I'm okay with him dying. I'd rather leave this alive, to be honest. You know, let's just leave literally everything alive. We'll we'll just have some fun with it. All right, we're gonna drop both creatures so that they can all get the buff um, from Blind Martyr. Hmm. I say that, but then this is gonna die. So this is dead regardless. I may as well trade. Looks like this is our, our chosen one. Um, so we're, we're just playing some stuff that's a little bit more fun right now. All right, given that we have a chosen one, I actually kind of want to pump this little... Yeah, yeah, I'll just end the game soon. I think it's actually pretty much over. So Is um, a couple things. So one is the favor mechanic. So you see this number right here in the bottom right? That is a mechanic called favor. So you see it goes up by three when I attack. Um, so I've, you get favor for attacking your opponent, you get favor for killing your opponent's creatures. Um, and then with that favor, you can buy things from this thing on the right. So you see these three pictures? Uh, you can click in, and then you can use that favor, this number down uh, in the bottom right here, to, to buy things. So I can buy this iron cut. Uh, I'll buy this here, so you can see. So I spent 25 of my favor, which brings me down to 17, and then I get this card in hand. All right, well, we've just got unlimited buff going on here um since the chosen one is out i always feel bad not using this so we're gonna we're just gonna keep using chosen one and then we'll use these other things as needed next turn i can chosen one and canonize if he's not dead already okay so that was an easy win um yeah to your explanation you're right apocalypse isn't usually in this deck uh and given that it would seem like a starter deck it was probably pretty safe but all right, what do we want to do here? Um, we're definitely going to kill this. Okay, it's probably just, probably best to just clear. I was considering uh, using the Chosen One. Probably best to just clear against aggro. Uh, good and sort of important to the metagame. We're going to start taking these out. We need to kill this sometime soon, so we're going to hit it with our Relic. Uh, and then we'll play another OP version of Highborn Knight. So now there's just no way for him to get through these front lines. All right, well, we're going to win this one without even using our chosen one. God power, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but realistically, this has ward as well, so I don't mind dropping this even into a board that might get raptured next. Then we'll go ahead and clear his board and then go face. And actually, I think that gets me, yeah, so this got me above uh, 40 favor as well. Um, so the only real answer to this at this point is to umber arrow it, which would then steal it from me. But pretty much anything else, this is just going to keep coming back. All right, let's finally use our god power for the first time. Right, none of these are our chosen one. That's fine. Hmm. 
May as well always trade with the Chariot at this point, because uh, since I have over 40 favor, it just comes back. <laughs> Should get there next turn. Uh, we'll use this just because there's probably not so many targets for it. Why not? And we'll, although for me, meme decks are still are still trying to be good decks. So they're they're competitive meme decks. They're strong memes. As you can see by our opponent conceding to our chosen one that never hit uh, the board. <laughs> Let's just keep curving out. So we're gonna go ahead and drop. This ghostly chariot. See if, uh, if we can keep it safe. See so yeah, if he trades this in, you won't get anything. Okay, so this is smart because now, uh, even though this says transform, it does still go to the void. So if he'll get this back when my pyramid one does. I mean, okay, I'm just gonna play highborn knight and blind martyr. We'll try to make our board big. Plus, we keep getting favor from our ghostly chariot. Chosen one, and... Okay, so my chosen one's actually this chariot. I hadn't used this yet. Then we'll trade this to give my creatures plus two health. Alright, I just wanted to give this ward, really, um, until I can get to 40 favor, which will happen right now. So now even if this dies, it'll come back. Alright, opponent concedes. So we didn't quite go undefeated. We uh we took a loss to our teammate Freedan, but but it was still pretty good. Still three and one with a favor deck, which is fun. We're sending everyone Bonk's way. Uh, Bonk is doing a uh, a birthday stream, so get hyped for Bonk. It's really dark in here. You can't see that it's actually a suit. It's got deadly now, so when it deals damage. <laughs> uh, silly. Don't think this guy's figured out how deadly works yet, but <laughs> maybe he's just so confident. Maybe he's BMing me. He knows my deck is a meme. Doesn't matter actually. He's got the relic. GG. Went great. Nice, nice. It's a little worrisome, isn't it? I have no spells in my void. This is five mana. And it's big. And I can pie this giant next turn. No, I can't. That's fine. <laughs> it's a cool sanctum pool. There's no good way to kill the things I want to kill and also play a pious giant. So you know what? Let's see if this goes face. That's probably the second best option. These get me to pious giant. And him close to dead. Pretty cool. Uh, thoughts on running it? Oh, this? This card, you mean? Not a Molly? Um, I guess the only spells, I hadn't thought about it, but the only spells in this deck are Sanctify. Alright. Seems like a fine time for Plantar Sage. Gold edition. This probably looks amazing in diamond. Oh, it definitely does. I mean like phone calls. Smartphones are fine. Totally fine. Alright. Oh, wow. Yikes. My man. Was that the move? Is that what I'm supposed to do? How do I play your deck? <laughs> A very good guess. Whoa, what is going on here? I don't like that. It's fine. It's fine. This is fine. Another lost in the depths, dude. JK, JK. Just having a goof. TS Twensday. Well, technically every TS Tuesday is TS Twensday for uh, the Aussies. 
So that checks out. Deal damage equal to this creature's strength. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, wow. I should have gone face first. That was a big mistake. Go! No! I missed a total of 12 face damage in this game. <laughs> oh, God. I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> Let's draw a card. Blow up my one drops. There's only four of them. Play some front lines. So, is bait. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to drop everything. And I'm going to trade this off so I can get another Aether on the board that can attack next turn. Um. Make it so he can't trade into that without buffing it or s damaging it in some way. What'd he do? Red Fume Serum. Oh my god, this guy's a madman. Alright, let's see what this draws. Premium Warden, cool. Let's see what this draws. Cool. Giant, but I won't be able to play it. Ah, well, this would be more damage on the board. Let's just go for it. Remember how I missed 12 damage to the face in this game? <laughs> would have been one off lethal there. Oh, yeah, Moment's got. Bunch of cats, I forgot. We did it. GG. I can't believe we won that game. We misplayed so hard. Twice. Woo! Listen, this suit is hot and the hat's annoying. It was fun while it lasted. We are sending you on over to the Mud Man. We're going for TS Tuesday round two. Cool new patch, got a couple new deck ideas. Yeah, I feel like Pious Giant's gonna be a good addition to Aether Magic. Aether Magic was like a very strong, like aggressive mid range type deck that got favored very easily, and Pious Giant's just a big beat stick that's really hard to remove. Um, oh, awesome. I'll take one of your giant things, please. Look at that, got that for free. Alright. If it breathes, it bleeds. And that's gone. Now I have an 11-12. All according to plan. How am I gonna deal four damage to something? Hey, GG. Let's draw a card. Oh, this guy's cool! And then also Thanatar, right? He can't Rapture Dance? Nice. Alright, I'm excited to see what this thing does. Two extra creatures. Three mana, five, six. That's nuts! This value trade is really juicy. Also, I should probably just deal as much damage as I can and eat this. And draw cards off it. My board's too big for Demonic Offering. Uh, 
GG. My whole hand wants me to have 13 less health. That's super fine, actually. If I burn this, it puts me down to 17. It dies, that puts me down to 14. And I have enough mana to play a Possessed Acolyte as well. Oh, that's power. Now we wait. Nice. I guess he can kill my 166 with his protected 2 2 afterwards, but he just gives me another 6 6 and then I win. Charm had a horrible start, still killed him by like turn six.